The 716 in two minutes. Brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers. Hey there, I'm Ashley Rowe from 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you for joining us. New York has seen less than 1% of COVID-19 tests come back positive for 17 straight days. Encouraging, but that's not the case in Erie County. The average positive test rate across the state was 0.66%. The rate in Erie County is almost triple that. Western New York has seen the highest test rate in the entire state. One spike in cases is now linked to a food manufacturing plant in Chautauqua County. People who are struggling to make ends meet will soon get a helping hand. They'll get at least some of the additional benefits they were getting in the first few months of the pandemic. New York will apply to be part of a federal program that provides $300 a week on top of regular unemployment benefits. The family of a UB student who died last year after a hazing incident is now taking legal action. The family of Sebastian Serafin Bazan has filed a lawsuit against eight students, two fraternities and the University at Buffalo, claiming the defendants knew about the dangerous activity taking place and did nothing to stop it. Serafin Bazan died at a frat party last April. At the time, sources told 7 Eyewitness News no alcohol or drugs were found in his system. The district attorney decided earlier this year not to file criminal charges. Time now for a check on your forecast with meteorologist Andy Parker. Thank you, Ashley. Boy, as we look at it tonight, it's pretty calm, but we're going to see some thunderstorms come rolling through at least for about a half hour, 40 minutes at any location. Temperatures not sinking much too far south than 70. Portions of the southern tier are slipping into the 60s, but that's it. Here's a look at your day tomorrow. Temperature wise, we're going to see some clouds in the morning. Sun in the afternoon lifts the north towns into the 80s. The south towns stay in the southern tier. Now you're up to date in the 716. The 716 in two minutes brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers.